Yo guys, it's Arcade and today we are going to create an epic cinematic battle music. So it's going to be an orchestral piece and it's going to be epic. Those are the two criteria for this video. Also, this video is brought to you by Floki, a great way to learn how to play the piano. More on that later. Now let's get started with the video. So how do we start? Is it by making a composition using the piano or do we start with proper sounds right off the bat? Let's try the piano first. I think I got something. Uh, let me just use the step editing mode and press the keys all at once. And we're going to have them in FL Studio. So yeah, those are the chords essentially. But one thing we can do right off the bat, pro tip, select your step sequencer chords, hold the alt key and drag this out. And it will snap the grid. So we can do something like this. So they are longer. I don't know if these are like the right notes here. Some seem a bit off, but it might not be a problem. Like this one doesn't seem right. As you guys know, I don't know music theory. That's why it's a good thing that Floki sponsored this video. Got it. So yeah, I want to move this one down then we have the right chord. Now let's add more sounds. Well, where do we start? Let's start with this orchestra essentials. This one is actually pretty affordable and it has a lot of cool sounds. So I want to start with strings staccato. So yeah, that's what I'm going with. Now let's make the rhythm. And also, I want everything to go twice. We're going to hold the Alt key again. We're going to extend everything even more like this. Now, shorten everything. <laughs> and we're just doing this. So in case you want to know the shortcuts, I'm selecting, holding Control and the mouse, and then holding Shift and dragging it out, duplicate it. That's what we're going to do with all of these like so and now we have the rhythm and the timing right could we add another one here yeah yeah that sounds pretty good that sounds pretty epic right now i want maybe this well let's put it in the playlist twice let's make the first one unique by clicking on it make unique so we can edit it separately and I'm going to do this thing where only the first hit of each repetition is supported by the lower notes. Oh, I have an idea here. <laughs> Like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love that. Okay, now, if you want to learn how to play the piano or improve in making compositions, check out our sponsor today, which is Floki. Floki is an app that teaches you how to play the piano. You can learn how to play specific songs, or you can take courses that teach you everything about notes, chords, music theory, and more. You can use this on your computer, but also through their app on your mobile devices as well. I think it's a great way to learn how to play the piano, but I think learning how to play the piano is one of the best things you can do to improve in music production in general. I don't know where I would be without this. But what's more, there is a lot of features that help you learn more efficiently. You can loop specific sections of the track. You can choose between left hand or the right hand. You can choose how fast you want to play. And then my favorite feature is the wait mode, which means the app waits for you to press the correct keys and then it continues playing. So you can play at your own speed. If you are interested, click on the link below to get a free week of Flow Key Premium. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we are back. Let's continue. So what about the speed, the BPM? Do we make it faster?
Okay, I have another sound that I want to add, which is probably a brass, I think. Do -do -do -do. I think this is what I want. So there's some trumpets and oboes. That's, that's that's the right one. Okay, let's add a drum hit or something like that. Orchestra drums, cymbals. These are loud. Crash transition. But now let's work a bit more on the drums because the drums will drive the song after all. So we want to make sure to get them right. Yeah, we can start with this. Okay, let's add this for another sound. Maybe chorus, some choir. We definitely don't want so many one after another. Wait, can we do like shorten it? We can do something like this, right? This sounds more natural. I think I have it on. Okay, that's not bad. Now, the strings. I think I should somehow automate them or something. Or maybe just play with the velocity a bit more. Yeah, like this. This is a rhythm I want to create with the velocity. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, now the strings are way more dynamic, which makes them sound more realistic. For now, let's just keep it this way. And we're gonna add another sound. I'm thinking brass. So this is a free pack. Well, that, that might help as well. <laughs> Maybe switch in between these. So yeah, as you can see in orchestral music, a lot of it is about velocity, volume of the sounds, and like the dynamics of the sounds. How hard do they hit at this time, and how little do they hit the next time? There is a lot of that. Okay, I think I like this sound in here, but overall we need something in there. Something is missing, basically. Okay, first of all, this. We need to automate that. We cannot have it like this. This sounds unnatural. We need to automate the mod wheel here. Uh, how do we do that? So you have to go to Bros Parameters and find the mod wheel, which will be here, modulation wheel. Well, we either edit events or we create an automation clip. Let's do edit events here. And then we find it in piano roll, control, contact, modulation wheel. And we can draw it in with this paint tool. Maybe probably louder. Yeah, and we do this for each one. Okay, I like that, I like that. It's way better than just having it in its pure form because that's just not realistic. You always want to automate the modulation wheel or the expression or dynamics. So let's hear it now. So 
So it's sort of quiet, which we can just make the volume higher, or maybe we use a different brass sound. Let's see. Wait, what? That's the staccato one. I meant sustained. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. But now we want the drums to hit four times as well. Add the first one here like this, like a reverse. And we hit it with the crash again. Maybe we add one more drum here. So with these drums, you sort of want to create a rhythm, right? And this one is probably the most important one. It's the one that you hear the most. So if it's just like this, with one in here, then it's sort of a slower song. But if you put one here, it creates this faster rhythm. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, one more thing we need is to fill out some of the space in there. Maybe just straight up strings and maybe tremolo. Could we change the brass in the second repetition? Okay, so what's next for this song? I'm thinking an organ sound. Scratch that for now. I will add one more sound though, like proper normal strings and the strings will follow these chords let's just copy the first note of each repetition this will be a lot so obviously we don't want them fully blasting through everything so we're gonna automate the dynamics. And the way you do that is you click this button and move anything you wanna automate like this. And then we edit events. So once again, I go back to piano roll and it's going to be here, the dynamics. Let's get to drawing. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's just make some waves here. I wanna go lower with them, almost all the way down every time. At least that's what I imagine. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. We should do the dynamics differently. It's all about creating this tension and then releasing it, you know? Could we delete a few layers of these strings? Like the higher ones, perhaps? Okay, I think I, I like that. Let's uh, go back to the organ and see if it would be a possibility. If we delete other sounds, it might open up the space for the organ, so let's see. needs to be faster <laughs> like this I don't love the sound it's not the right sound the organ is not the right sound for this type of track so let's try a different sound like a harp and ballo Interesting sound. Let's well, try piano. I think piano could work, like in the background, sort of. Yeah, we definitely decrease the intensity of the drums. And the way we do that 
is by lowering the velocity here. Yeah, this is a drum I want to hear. Okay, sounds good. Um, So when I'm working on this arpeggio, basically I'm thinking about the chords, you know, I pretty much keep the shape of the chords, just create an arpeggio from them. So if you look at the chords, we have A, E, A, C, E, A, and we can sort of go along those notes up and down to create an arpeggio. And the more experience you have with creating melodies, you're gonna sort of figure it out just by ear. And I think this is the right notes, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, another trick I will show you is we select all the notes and choose randomize. But first I'm gonna lower the volume overall and then go here again. And yeah, just randomize it like this. So we have some louder and some quieter notes sort of randomly spread out. and we can adjust it as we please. And again, you definitely wanna work with the dynamics in this type of music, even when it comes to piano, the strings, anything, you wanna try and make it more human. So now we have this. Okay. And we're gonna end it by doing what I had in mind for a while now. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we can definitely add some more harmonies of these strings. Okay, and I think we are ready actually. Let's have a listen to the finished result. Enjoy! So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to check out our sponsor today, which is Floki, link below. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.